Welcome to another episode of Ducks Electronic Repair Bench. Back again, I have my signal tracer running, as you can hear. It has a noisy component. I'll put you closer to the... So, that's going to have to be addressed before I can use this thing at all. And, uh, so... I, I remember from the last time I used it, it had this problem was coming on. I have not replaced the paper capacitors in this, so that would probably be first on the list of things to do. And I watched Mr. Carlson's lab last night. He had a heat kit. It was the older model heat kit with a noisy component in it. It turned out to be a resistor. And this one could very well be a resistor. But, like I said, I'm going to have to address this because it's kind of difficult to use um, a piece of equipment to track down a noisy component when the, the piece of equipment you're using is noisy itself. So, that's what we will do next. Alright, by uh, replacing one of the caps in it, the .01 paper cap, Yes, yeah, so that's a paper cap inside there. So, replace that. The crackling has seemed to have disappeared. But I also took off the uh, eye tube and the shield around it right there. So I'm not really sure if maybe I, I did something in the process of taking that off or what. I suppose I can put it back on and go from there. It, this is what me I keep touching this grounds why it keeps going soft and or loud and soft. So that's that. I don't hear the crackling now, so that, that's what you know. What I'm I'm going by. You hear the uh, buzz? I think that was always present. If you, like I said, you ground it out, you don't hear that buzz even, so. This might be, that might be all that was wrong with it was a cap. suppose it could have been bad. Stranger things have happened. So, I think what I'm going to do is put it all back together. Or I'll at least put the uh, eye tooth back in. Eye tube tooth, I keep saying. Eye tube back in and shield and things like that and make sure it's still not doing anything wrong and go from there so we 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 may be back in a bit i may not i don't know just kind of depends on uh, what happens so stay tuned all right we're all back together as far as the uh, eye tooth eye tube <laughs> and heat shield you can see it's all back together there don't see anything touching. I thought maybe the shield was touching something, but I don't see anything. So maybe, uh, maybe the cap was all that was bad. I mean, it was one of the things I had to replace. Now that was the only uh, paper cap in there. The rest are disc caps. So, and I did rattle on the, some uh, uh, resistors. Didn't seem to get any difference there. You may notice I've got the uh, one of the uh, binding posts out of that. That's got a bad spot. I'm going to take all three of those out. Try to pound that down straight to where these, these are in there straight instead of crooked. I meant to do that. Oh, you guys don't see them. <laughs> these things right here, these binding posts are in there crooked. So I need to get that straightened out. And get that back like it's supposed to be. Try to do that while I've got it apart. And uh, like I said, looks like that's about all I have to do. It sure is quiet now compared to what it was. And I, again, I don't even have the uh, cover on it, so that'll quiet it down a little bit even more. So, for sure, that uh, cap was our bad, bad actor, as Bill, as, Bill, as uh, Jim Lindenass would say. So, 
going to close this off now and get it all back together and try to fix that uh, uh, space on or the cabinet front there where it's bent and get that all back together and see what we got. So, may bring you back. May wait till I'm, I got it all back together. I don't know. We'll see. So, you guys hang in there. All right, there we have it. The uh, post has been straightened. Looking pretty good. The uh, amplifier seems to be working. I'm going to leave it on for a while and see what happens. See if it starts popping and cracking. If it does, we'll tear it back down again. But I don't think it will. That's eh, just my... My... Um, well, you know... My assessment of the thing. I think it's fixed. So... If I come back again, it may be trying to trace out some of the uh, problems with this. This one has, um, I don't know if I remember, mentioned it or not, but this one has a, uh, oh, a noisy component, much like this one uh, had. And it was going to be impossible to troubleshoot that with a noisy component signal generator or tracer. So, what I'm going to do is uh, use that to. Uh, trace this out to see if I can figure out where the uh, problem is with it. I have, uh, like I said before, cleaned the uh, volume control. It's nice and clean. I've cleaned the AM FM switch. Uh, so, it's definitely, I mean, I can I can poke various places and uh, sometimes make it go away. But uh, I think that's just from rattling the board. So. I think we'll uh, probably go into that next. And I have the uh, little Panasonic up there too. I told you, I think I told you that I found two uh, bad circuit traces on that. Actual wires that were loose in the circuit board there. So I'm going to uh, solder that back, get that uh, working, see if that fixes it. And uh, we'll go from there. So making progress. Like I said, I'm going to leave that run a while and see what happens. So. Catch you later. Oh yeah, we're back here a little over an hour later. Still doing the same things, not to make it even wreck it. Haven't changed the settings, been on 40 all this time. So I'm assuming it is fixed. So turn it down. Turn it up. So, that's going to be it for that. Uh, other than working on this, need to plug it into an isolation transformer before I do that, though, because that is a live chassis. So, we'll do that. Now, this is uh, this has got a transformer on it. I guess I don't have to, but I figure it's a lot better to do it that way. Or that's what I figure, anyway. So. Now, one of the things I, I brought on this... Let me mention this while we're looking at it. If I can get this thing off my head. I'll oh, turn that off. Is the um, filter caps on this. I did not change those. So there's no hum. Absolutely no hum in this. So I think that being the case, I think we can get away without changing it. This radio has low hours. I can just tell the way it... it uh, is the way it looked and everything so I'm gonna say it's gonna be fine like I said I changed all the filter or all the uh, e caps I think except for one and I probably could change it I just haven't got around to do it but uh, like I said those e caps uh, filter caps you know if it's not humming there's no sense in changing those I don't think so all right well I'm gonna close this out and like I said, I think I've got one to put in a can already, so let me get that done and we'll talk at you later.